Too Proud, the Tony Award-winning musical about the life and times of the vocal group The Temptations, has become the latest show to take a final bow on Broadway. After going on hiatus in December, the cast reunited for their closing performance on Sunday. The difficulty of running a show during the pandemic making it impossible to stay open. 30 to 40 percent of all the uh, plays on Broadway have either closed or gone on hiatus. And the principal reason is simply uh, safety. Also, you have to have the audience. Tourism is down in New York. 65% of all the people that come to Broadway plays are people from outside of New York. Waitress, Thoughts of a Colored Man and Jagged Little Pill have all closed for good. Others, such as Mrs. Doubtfire and Girl from the North Country, have suspended performances until the spring. But some of the city's biggest spectacles are persevering, having introduced strict COVID-19 protocols. At Phantom of the Opera, Broadway's longest-running musical, a huge effort is underway to keep the show going. So right now we are rehearsing non-stop, sometimes during the show we'll, we'll send someone to go off to a studio to rehearse because as people, if they become infected with COVID, then they are kind of out of the picture for 10 days. And the testing is, is incredibly rigorous. I mean, we are testing every day and sometimes twice a day. If it's a day off, we take an antigen test in the morning at home, then we take a PCR test when we come here at the theater. Um, and it's constantly evolving. March will mark two years since Broadway went dark during the COVID-19 lockdown. Despite reopening in September last year, the continued disruption being caused by the virus has left many in the industry facing an uncertain future. Everyone I've spoken to has felt like this is a new kind of purgatory where we are in what feels like March 2020, where we're dealing with a brand new virus and things are shutting down again. But also we have information and we know how to deal with things. So we're still planning to do things that we don't know. We don't know if they're going to be able to happen or not, or if we'll have to transition to digital media. In an effort to keep people safe, the Broadway League is extending the mask wearing requirement for theatre goers until the end of April. And the current vaccine mandate for audiences is being widened to include children over the age of five from January the 29th. Meanwhile, performers are hoping the current Omicron spike will be short-lived and that no more Broadway shows will face the final curtain. Sarah Walton, CGTN, New York.